আমরা কলাইডস সিস্টেমটা পড়ে নিচ্ছি এখানে শুধু কলাইডসটা পড়ছি সারফেস কেমিস্ট্রি কলাইডস ওকে তো সারফেস কেমিস্ট্রি তার কলাইডস পার্টটা এখানে আছে হুম কলাইডস কি হোয়াট ইজ কলাইড ইন গ্রিক ওয়ার্ডস ইট ইস কোলা মিন্স গ্লু মানে গ্লু টাইপের তার মানে আমরা দেখো ওই যখন রান্না হয় তার ভাতের মারটা হয় সেটাও একটা কলাইডস सल्यूशन कथा সলিউশনের ক্ষেত্রে সলভেন্ট সেটা এখানে ডিসপার্সন মিডিয়াম আর যেটাকে বলি সলিউট এইখানে সেটা ডিসপার্সন ফেস তাই তো তাহলে এটা হলো আমাদের কলাইডস অর্থাৎ কলাইড ইজ নট এ সাবস্টান্স বাট ইট ইজ এ স্টেট অফ সাবস্টান্স হুইচ ডিপেন্ডস আপন দ্য মলিকুলার সাইজ অ্যান্ড হোয়াট ইজ দ্য মলিকুলার সাইজ ইট উইল বি টেন টু দি পাওয়ার Minus 9 meter to 10 to the minus 6 meter or we can say it is 10 to the power minus 5 to 10 to the minus 7 centimeter. Yes, this is a yes, sir. And colloidal particles have enormous surface area per unit mass because of their size. Since the size is small, but it is greater than the true particle or true solution the particle of the true solution okay the size of the colloid particles is greater than the size of the true uh, solution particle okay consider a cube with 1 cm side okay you want to tell what would be the surface area for this cube you already know that right? because 1 cm cube okay the area is 1 cm cube is it okay now yes, surface area of the cube 6 cm square why this sur uh, surface area but it is the cube means it is volume okay and what is the area area means this is the one surface this is the another surface this is the another surface so there is a six phase yes six phase this six phase have six centimeter square area yes because for one phase there is a one centimeter square since this is six phase so six centimeter square this is the area and its volume is 1 cm cube because height and distance into breadth. Now, to get collide particle, you have to divide this cube into 10 to the power 12 cubes. Colloidal sizes will be want to take this cube into the colloidal particle size, then we should divide this cube into 10 to the power 12 cubes. Then it will be colloidal particles. Now, what will be the surface area of cube particles? Then for one cube, the volume is one centimeter cube. Volume of small cube, it will be 10 to the power minus 12 centimeter cube. Side of small cube is 10 to the power 4 centimeter minus uh, 10 to the power minus 4 centimeter. Then total surface area it will be 60,000 centimeter square. Do you see? But the 60 centimeter. Uh, 60,000 centimeter square, it will be the 
area when if we divide the bigger cube to the smaller cube okay then surface area will be increased for this reason maximum medicine is in colloidal form because if it is in colloidal form then surface area will be increased and activity of the medicine will be high is it okay yes sir now thomas graham in 1861 thomas graham observed that sugar urea sodium chloride to the membrane while other like glue gelatin did not he called it colloids so the colloidal solution is a heterogeneous system in which one substance is dispersed as large particle in another substance that's mean dispersion medium and here like this if dispersion phase is like solute and dispersion medium is like solvent so this is a heterogeneous mixture this is a solution but we are not called it solution because in solution the size of the particle is less than 10 to the power 7 cm so what is heterogeneous system heterogeneous system means it is two phase system it is not one phase system this is two phase system heterogeneous means there is a more than one phase and dispersion phase what is dispersion phase you know a phase in which the substance exist as colloidal particles that's mean it is like solute and dispersion phase a uh, medium dispersion medium is the continuous phase in which the colloidal particles are dispersed or this it is not dissolved it is dispersed why it is dis it is called disperse because we can see this type of particle you can see this type of particle when it is shows the tindal effect okay yes sir you can feel also this type of particle so salt with water water it will form colloid or true solution most of the salt it will form true solution okay salt with water is an example of true solution milk so we can see that there is a something is disperses okay so this is the milk and milk contains two things one is dispersion phase another is dispersion medium the dis the particle size of the dispersion phase is about 10 to the power minus 5 cm to 10 to the power minus 7 cm that is in colloidal particle size so milk is a colloid sand with water is it colloid is it colloid because sand is sedimented but some mud water it may colloid but sand the size of the sand particle is greater than colloid particles then it will be settled down okay so it is not colloids but some mud water it may be colloids
What is the difference among true solution, colloidal solution, and suspension? Difference arises due to the different size of particle in each part space. And now, what is the size? The particle size of the dispersed space is between 10 to the minus 10 meter and 10 to the power minus 9 meter. Okay. It is called true solution. Like salt, water, sugar, water. Okay. It's like a true solution. If the particle size of the dispersed phase is between 10 to the power minus 9 meter and 10 to the power minus 6 meter, it is called colloidal solution. Example, milk. So milk, the size of the milk particle is 10 to the power minus 9 meter to 10 to the power minus 6 meter. That's mean if we convert to a centimeter, then it will be 10 to the power minus 5 centimeter to 10 to the power minus 7 centimeter. But size of the sand particle is greater than 10 to the power minus 5 centimeter or it is below 10 to the power minus 6 meter. It is called suspension that is sand water can readily sediment. So as a question, colloids have the molecular size range between is no what is this it is option d yes now colloids are heterogeneous homogeneous both none this is heterogeneous classification of colloids on the basis of the following we can classify the colloids. Physical state, it may be liquids, it may be glue type. Nature of interaction between dispersed phase and dispersion medium, types of particles of the dispersion phase, Okay, so in this way, we can classify. Based on the physical state of the dispersion phase and dispersion medium, dispersion phase may be solid, liquid or gas. Then we can say it is sol, aerosol, when it is gaseous and liquid mixture foam, etc. Depending upon whether the dispersion phase and dispersion medium are solids, liquid or gases, eight types of colloidal system are possible. Okay. Dispersion phase, dispersion medium, hmm. this is colloids and now colloids is eight types. Okay, this collides solid sol. Hmm. Like James Stone. This is like a solid. So this is solid sol. Colored glass. This is also a collides. So look like this type of glass. This is also super cooled. We can say super cooled liquid. That's mean solid sol. Liquid sol, blood, so liquid sol, paint, liquid sol, gas, gaseous sol, aerosol, you know, what is foam, dust, okay, smoke, fog, gel, like butter, Jelly, which is also collides. Hair cream, 
milk, liquid aerosol, pork, hmm. insecticide spray, etc. Liquid aerosol, the liquid, and there are some gas, cloud, also. When dispersion phase is gas and dispersion medium is solid, that means solid sol. Foam rubber, I mean stone. When gas and liquid it forms foam, whipped cream, Broth in a cup of tea or coffee. Gas, gas, there is no salt. Okay? There is no salt. Because this is gaseous system. Completely missing. So all gases are miscible. Miscible means a gas mixed with another gas forms a homogeneous mixture and is not a collateral system. Many familiar commercial products and natural products like whipped cream, milk, dust paints, and etc. are collides. We use medicine medicine and solid accept it, but we have to body we have to do it, 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 maximum medicine, colloidal form it, we have to do when surface area is large, then activity will be large. Based on physical state, of dispersion phase and dispersion medium, many familiar commercial products, natural products, equipped cream, milk dust paints, etc. are collapsed. Within a typical cell, proteins and nucleic acid are colloidal sized particles dispersed in an aqueous solution of ions and small molecules. You know the egg. Egg contains proteins. Yes. Egg yes, sir. proteins. And the liquid part of the egg. What is this? This is actually collateral system. So it is protein. And when it will be heated or it is boiled, then this protein is denatured denaturized product. Liquid protein contains hydrogen bond when it is heated, then it will be solid and hydrogen bond will be break. And for this reason, it is denatured protein. If the dispersion medium is water, the sol is called aquosol or hydrosol. If the dispersion medium is alcohol, it is called alcohol. In this way, we can make it. And uh, for this type of word, is very important for your competitive exam. But it is an example of which one is this? Not emulsion, not aerosol, then. Yes. Yes, sir. Cloud is an example of contents also gas. Yes. Not emulsion, not gel, hmm? liquid aerosol. Because it contains gas. Lyophilic and lyophobic collides. What is that? Lyophilic means water loving, actually. 
it is water loving what is this lyophilic and lyophobic colloids what is this lyophilic a uh, philic or hydrophilic we can explain at first the hydrophilic hydrophilic means water loving and hydrophobic means water heating like this here it is also lyophilic it is actually the colloidal system it also loves the polar molecules and lyophobic means it hated it hates the polar molecules like water loving and water so based on the nature of interaction between this first phase hello sir i am eshe gechi tumi eshe gechu tumi eshe giye ki korbe tomake ami akashe pathi debo cloud e boshe thakbe tumi age cost ta ki ha cloud cloud ta ki seta ha cloud na hole tomake ami akashe pathi debo tomake ni amar kaj nai tumi tomarcho मीडियम Colloidal salts are divided into two categories. That is, lyophobic and lyophilic. Yes. Now, lyophilic. The word lyophilic means solvent loving. You already say hydrophilic means water loving. Now, if the solvent is polar or like water, then it is solvent loving. And solvent heating means. Lyophobic. So colloidal salts are directly formed by mixing substances like gum, gelatin, starch, rubber, etc., with the suitable liquids and dispersion medium. Starch in our laboratory, we use starch frequently, and gum, gelatin, this type of Colloids you already use, so they are lyophilic and lyophobic means this is solvent heating. Hmm. That's mean these salts are reversible salts. It means that the dispersion medium is separated from the dispersion phase. The salt can be we constitute by simple mixing the dispersion phase with dispersion medium okay. now based on the nature of the interaction between dispersion phase and dispersion medium what is lyophobic it is water heating that's mean not only water heating it is solvent heating the word lyophobic means solvent heating or if if have a phobia to solvent then it is lyophobic okay so colloidal salt can be prepared by a special method by mixing substances like metals metal sulfides etc to dispersion media If the dispersion medium is water, then the colloids is called hydrophobic colloids. That's mean why it is hydrophobic because water heating substances is there. These salts are readily precipitated or coagulated on the addition of small amounts of electrolytes or by heating or by shaking, so they are not stable. It is irreversible. 
because of the precipitate does not give back the colloidal solid by simple addition of the dispersion medium to it. कन्स्टिट्यूटेड by simple mixing with dispersion medium because it is lyophilic it is solvent loving but in irreversible solid it cannot be reconstituted by mixing with dispersion medium so lyophobic colloids are solvent loving or heating both or one What is this? Phobic is solvent heating. Yes. The sol which can be reconstituted by simple mixing with dispersion medium is called a solvent sol. Okay. The multi-molecular or macromolecular and associated colloids. Multi-molecular colloids. There are so many. A large number of atoms or smaller molecules of a dispersed space aggregated together to form spaces having size in the colloidal range. Example: gold salt. It's very important for our chemistry, and it's very important. From this gold salt, you can make nanoparticles readily. Different types of nanoparticle, and for different experiment, you can do with the gold salt. Because if we form gold, and we can reuse again and again. Okay, but by other materials, we are unable to. Experiment again and again, but by the gold, though it is costly, but we can make gold salt, and we can reuse this gold salt for different experiment. Sulfur salt. This is very low cost. It consists of particle containing a thousand of more or Of S H sulfur molecules, based on the types of the particles of the dispersed phase, macromolecular colloids. Macro means large. Their individual atoms or molecules are in the colloidal range, okay. and the first one was the aggregated form, and now it is macromolecules means a single molecule. It is. In colloidal size, naturally occurring macromolecules are cellulose, proteins. We already see proteins in the egg also. Is it clear? Enzymes or natural, naturally occurring macromolecular. So, man-made macromolecular molecules are. polythin nylon polystyrene etc synthetic rubber associated colloids it forms micelles actually it is look like the detergent can readily form this type of substances Associated colloids. Some substances at low concentration they have strong electrolyte. What 
what is electrolyte you already know after dissolving in the dispersion medium which can conduct electricity the substance ion as when dissolve in suitable ionization solvent such as water like nacl you know you, uh, electrolyte you already know but at high concentration exhibit colloidal behavior due to the formation of aggregation but sodium chloride does not form in aggregate the aggregated particles thus form are called micelles or associated colloids like macro molecules like detergent surface active agents such as soaps and detergents belong to this type of categories condition for the micelles formation micelles formation that's mean when you clean our dresses the detergent at first it will form micelles with the dirt particle which is attached with our dresses so the formation of micelles takes place only above a particular temperature which is known as crab temperature already mentioned it and above a particular concentration called critical micellation constant which is known as cmc on dilution these colloids revert back to the individual electrolytes add to our knowledge for soaps the critical micellar concentration is 10 to the power minus 4 to 10 to the power minus 3 mole per liter so you should use soap as a concentration of 10 to the power minus 4 to 10 to the power minus 3 mole per liter then it will clean off our dresses or our body if we use less than this type of moles if we use only 10 to the power minus 5 mole per liter then it will not able to clean our body or any dresses soaps have both lyophobic and lyophilic parts we already discuss about it micelles of soap may contain as many as 100 or more of the normal molecules now there is a question in macromolecular colloids individual atoms are in the colloid range it may be aggregate of atoms are in the colloid range maybe both none of these so for macromolecular colloids individual atoms are in the colloidal range it is also right aggregate of the atoms in the colloidal range it is also right okay that is a both option will be that is both for soaps the critical micelles concentration is বলি যেটা ভ্যালুটা বলা হলো 10 টু দি পাওয়ার -4 টু 10 টু পাওয়ার -3 মোল পার লিটার তো অপশন ইজ বি ওকে সো এইটা হলো আমাদের 